guys. This is John. We're in New York right now. Basically, he came out here to do some street art. Just hit the streets up um, with my paintings and my images. I just want to, um, my main focus always is um, putting some Jesus on the art. And um, just so people walk by, they kind of they kind of might be reminded of, of, of God or Jesus, you know what I mean? So that's what our main goal here in New York is. I kind of tagged along with Tyler Evans and my buddy Tony. So I actually went with them yesterday to some areas that are pretty gnarly here in New York. And I saw like a lot of stuff that you think you see in movies, you know what I mean? You think they, that they make it up, but this stuff is real. Went to some projects, talked to these guys. These guys are living some, some pretty gnarly lives. I'm talking about, you know, kids that are like 22 with like Bentleys. And they're like the biggest dope dealer in their hood, you know what I mean? And they're just... They're just running it and it's pretty, it's pretty wild, but these kids they actually want to get out of it, you know? So kind of shifting my focus over to trying to speak life into these kids, you know what I mean? And maybe, you know, tell them about Jesus, God, you know what I mean? Just there's another way. So we're out here doing art and we're out here doing that. So you guys stay tuned and just see what happens. You don't see where I'm going You only see in the moment You know my mistakes You never let go it huh. Don't cease to amaze me And it drive me crazy huh. Did you catch every detail that I missed In the songs I'm making Saying You will never write a verse like Kendrick Never be the rapper I got from Hendrix Top 10 alive You will never be mentioned Why I aim so high I won't survive the trenches Plus You a Christian Andy They will never listen Andy Plus We a pigment Andy huh. You don't got skill You a gimmick Andy Well If I listen to you And everything you put in my ear I be living like What a Shut up I'll be paralyzed by fear, huh? Ain't that the truth? If I quit, the only way I lose, I got two choices when I do this. Make moves or make excuses, huh? If you know who I'm talking about, then you got me. My biggest enemy is me, and even I can't stop me. They try to shut us down, and it ain't gon' slide. Only thing I fear is God, and He on my side. That's the confidence of God, cause He got me. That's why I really feel like you can't stop me. When you had this Bible in isolation, did you feel that something was was real, like there with you in the room, or like something was coming off the page and just reading like straight to your brain, like yeah, this it, is real, like there's something real here, like speaking to you, like yeah, like I read, I used to read these th those proverbs and psalms and stuff, like just reading it once I read it, it just it was it, it was like in something like being at ease. Yeah. It was just like being at ease, like you, you felt, know, like you felt some comfort or some sort yeah. of love or some sort of. You felt some, something there that was with yeah, you. Yeah, of course. I with mean, you like comforting you. Of course, like I was in a room no bigger than your bathroom. Nice. Twenty-three hours a day, no television, yeah. lights on all day. You're gonna go crazy. Exactly. So, just I only was allowed a Bible. So you know, like I said, I didn't study it. I just had nothing to do, and I would just flick through, read some stuff, flick through, read some stuff, and then I caught on. Like, man, this thing is nothing being in this room. Like this, this is nothing, man. Like, and I just said, you know what? This thing saved me from going crazy. Cool. So you know, I just always felt protected. Like when I was a kid, I used to sleep with the Bible under my pillow cool. to not have bad nightmares. So you know, it's yeah. like, uh, it's just always just being protected, man. Like you know, and I hear that you actually have a testimony of coming to Christ, and um, I just want to know if you could just share that, for share that with us and and the, and the watchers here, the viewers. Yeah, definitely. Uh, for example, or how my story came about, uh, you know, I started traveling uh, the world at a very young age, racing a motorcycle uh, at 16. Um, and I think through this time, uh, as a young man, you are finding yourself in a world that is very confusing and uh, a world that you don't understand until you get much older. Uh, so through those times, uh, like a lot of stories, I think you reach low points in your life and. Uh, I reached one of my lowest points uh, a few years back, and if I didn't find him, I really believe that I wouldn't be here today. Now, right. I can honestly say at this point that I have a good relationship with my Lord and Jesus Christ, and I believe that uh, as long as I'm going forward now in a positive direction, I believe that uh, good things will prosper from that right now. Whoa!
Yeah.